splashdown is scheduled for just a few minutes from now. Meters. SpaceX copies, brace for splashdown. And there are the boats starting to chase after Dragon um, to begin their recovery operations as soon as Dragon lands. You can hear the applause. But we have visual confirmation of the Crew-1 resilience capsule. From resilience. Uh, this excellent news. We are splashed down. We sh the pyros have fired. We're water. SpaceX copies and concurs. We do she main cut as well. You can see uh, the nest right there. That's where Crew Dragon will be placed once it has been hoisted onto the vessel. And so this is the uh, resilience capsule. It flew for the first time uh, in November of last year. And when it flew, uh, it was pristine and white. And now we've got uh, a little bit of uh, toastiness on its side. And it's Dragon SpaceX brace for capsule lift. Go ahead, Paul. We're here at the lift. Crew Dragon Resilience now out of the water being prepared to be placed on that dragon nest in the center of your screen at the bottom. And just an hour ago, this capsule had just completed the deorbit burn and was still in space and now is being returned to go navigator. The first time for these crew members to be on Earth in almost six months. So the uh, crew just secured Dragon uh, onto the recovery vessel, and now it's moving uh, towards the platform where eventually the hatch will open up. Now the crew members will not ride this boat all the way back to shore. They will board a helicopter, and that helicopter will take them um, back to Pensacola, and waiting there will be a NASA plane to bring them back to Houston. The end of the recovery vessel, uh, Go Navigator. And here is, uh, I think that's Mike Hopkins, the commander. Uh, he seems very excited. <laughs> Feeling pretty good after six months in space. 